Okay, so all of these shapes are what? What are all of these shapes? Triangles, right? And we're trying to figure out the size of each unknown interior angle. That means the angle inside the shape or outside the shape? Inside the shape. So I'm given angle A is 73 degrees, angle B is 76, and we have to figure out angle C. What do you recall from what you learned the other day? If we add up all of the interior angles in a triangle, what do they add up to? 180 degrees. So if I know A and B, what would I do to figure out C? Okay, so that's the first thing. We're going to do 73 plus 76. And what do you get? 149 degrees. So these two angles added up together gives us 149, but all together, all three should add up to 180. So how would I figure out the missing angle? Yep. Subtract what? 180, take away 149. That will give us the remainder. So 31 degrees, good. So therefore, angle C equals 31 degrees. That's the final answer. I want you to do B on your own right now. We have angle D and F, which are 46 degrees and 23 degrees. We have to figure out angle E. Okay, so we have 46 plus 23 equals 69 degrees, but all together has to add up to 180. So I'm going to take that away from 180, and we get 111 degrees. So therefore, angle E equals 111 degrees. Raise your hand if you got 111. Do we have to write that? You need to know this. Angle JLM is which angle? The what? If you start at J, and I draw a line, this is J, and then here's L, but then I have to extend it out to M. It's the exterior angle. Excellent. Okay? And if you look at the way the angle's written, the the number that, or sorry, the letter that's in the middle always tells you which angle they're referring to. But in this case, we need to know if it was the interior or exterior, so we have to look at which letters are they using. J, L, M goes outside the triangle, yep. Well, we know that we have an interior angle here of 76, right? Do you know what this angle is, angle K? What is it? 90. Can you figure out this interior angle? So we did 76 plus 90 equals 166. That gives us the sum of the two angles. But to find the third angle, what do I have to do? 180 subtract 166, which gives us 14 degrees. So this angle inside here is 14. But we need to know this angle outside the triangle. The two, yes, you're right. The two of them on a straight line add up to 180. So yes, technically we already found it because now we're just going back to where we started, right? So we can do 180 minus 14, which gives us 166. Does that make sense? So the exterior angle, JLM equals 166 degrees. Okay, so for this question, we're trying to figure out the value of X. So we're not actually told what each angle is equal to. We're told that angle R is equal to 3 times X. Angle T is equal to 5 times something, times X. And angle S is equal to X. So we have to figure out what X is. If I know what X represents, then I can figure out each angle, right? Yep. Well, we don't know any of these angles, but what do you know about if... What do you know about the sum of the interior angles in a triangle? What does every single angle inside a triangle have to add up to? 180. So would you agree that x plus what? 3x plus what? 5x. If I know what that represents, if I add them all together, what does it equal? 180. Well, if I have 1x and I have a 3x, and I have a 5x, how many x's do I have? Do you guys we have 9x's, that equals 180. How do I isolate to solve for x? What's the last step I need to do here? Divide by what? Divide by 9, remember this? I need to get rid of that. If I divide the left side by 9, what do I have to do to the right side? What's 180 divided by 9? 
20. So x equals 20. So x is equal to 20. Which angle does that give me? The answer to. So angle S equals 20 degrees because angle S is just x. And now I figured out what x is, right? What does angle T, what is angle T represented by? What was it? Here's angle T. What, what was it represented by? 5x. Okay, well, do you know what x is now? What is it? So what would I do to find out angle T? I would do 5 times 20, right? Everyone understand? What's 5 times 20? 20. 100 degrees. So we just found angle T. What about angle R? Well, what is it represented by? 3x. Well, we need, now we know x, right? So what is angle R, Jeff? Yes, I replace x with 20, because we just solved that. What's 3 times 20? 60 degrees. So now I can redraw this with the actual dimensions. We said that S is 20, R is 60, and T is 100. Let's add these up in our head. 100 plus 60 plus 20. What do you get if you add all those angles together? So is it correct? Does it make sense? Yeah.